Hey guys, welcome to the very first episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2013 with Liverpool. And we're just going to jump straight into it here. We're not going to screw around. Uh, we are going to go right into a match. Uh, I've sort of done all the setting up process. Uh, I'm sure, you know, you've seen the, the setting up, you know, the intro stuff. You know, we don't need to see that. Uh, we should also point out I've uh, <laughs> been doing it. Uh, I've, I've been uh, essentially playing this all the way for about three or four hours. Uh, and what I mean, I've not got past this part of the well, auction. I've played I've played the match like once or twice, but I've literally not played a competitive game yet. Uh, and that's because the game has been uh, unbelievably slow. <laughs> and it got uh, absolutely unbearable at times. And uh, bear in mind, I'm only on a small database with one active league. And uh, I was thinking, oh no, maybe my computer's going down. And bear in mind, I'm getting a new computer very soon as well. So, uh, but, um, I just want to give you a very quick warning. If you do, if you if you have uh, noticed, obviously, unless you're blind or something, uh, I have the real badges on, uh, and I will be doing a tutorial on that. One of the uh, so that'll be soon, but one of the features uh, or things you've got to do is if you go to interface here, you have to untick this uh, thing here. It says use caching to decrease page time, lo uh, page loading times, and don't for god's sake make sure you put that back because it becomes unbearable painfully slow um and i think it's it's finally you know sorts itself out you know it's nice and jumpy and quick and i know there's not a quick air so i don't know if it's going to be really quick but uh yeah um just a little quick note on that as i say uh not much has actually happened i've got a few uh offers such as uh robinson and flanagan are going to be ongoing on loan but uh you know i mean obviously now i realize that a lot of you guys aren't going to be particularly new to the game obviously i realized that episode one usually does attract uh you know maybe a few more viewers than usual you know also at the regular viewership so a uh, hi to you if you are just reviewing, reviewing for the first time um if you are new to the game i'm going to take you through what happens after the intro you know i mean i'm sure you know if, if you've played the game or even seen the game before you know how these things uh, work by now so we're just going to jump straight into a game here uh, and I'm going to be taking on the reserves with uh, my team. Yeah, that's a lot quicker straight away. Uh, Suarez is injured, for, bizarrely. Obviously, the morale is pretty poor at the moment due to the fact that uh, a new manager has come in and everyone's like, well, who's this guy, you know, type of thing, um, which is never a good time. But one thing I will be doing is playing the full strength up. Full, almost full strength, obviously, Suarez is uh, injured for some reason. He's only out for 49 days, so he barely misses anything, really. So, uh, yeah, let's do it then. So, let's play uh, Reina. Bear in mind, obviously, a lot of the youngsters are going to be playing uh, for the reserves, so I don't really need to include them. So, I'm going to just play full strength team, obviously. Uh, let's play Glenn Johnson. Obviously, match fitness is not great either, but I just wanted to you know, give you some action uh, first up here. And then, uh, once we have uh, done this, uh, we'll be jumping right into the Premier League. We'll show you the fixtures. In fact, I'll show you that just before we go to the uh, go to the game. So I'll just pick the team here. Back four picks itself pretty much. Johnson, Agascal, Leonard, and Enrique. Uh, then on the right, I'm going to be a little bit more uh, thing here with Raheem Sterling. Uh, we're going to have Gerard and Allen. And uh, I'll play them as that. Play Allen as support, not defensive. Bear in mind, we are playing the reserves. And on the left, we're going to have a Saidi, I think. And obviously, the only other option we have is to have Barini and Pacheco. Bear in mind, I, as I said in the uh, tactics video, which I urge you to check out if you haven't done already, uh, that uh, I will be um, buying a new striker. But uh, you've got to realise the fact that I have zero transfer budget, uh, with which I uh, mistakenly said three million or something on that tactics video. It has changed since the beta, so that's always nice. Um, pick positions, let's pick that. Yep. Uh, let's and Pacheco. What's Pacheco's DLP? Sorry, not DLP. Sorry, DLF. And Barini. I'm gonna try Barini's poacher. Let me just try that. Uh, yeah, that's row. I didn't mean that. Yeah, because Suarez and uh, Lucas are injured, of course. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, I'm gonna try to say he's a wide midfielder uh, because, as I say, I played this once already in one four one. Uh, you know, not that it matters here. <laughs> uh, this Hodzic guy scored against me. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, essentially the game slowed to a crawl and it was pretty painful to do. Uh, even though, you know, as I said, I'm not going to be using it on PC very often. I'm going to be doing a, both a PC tutorial and Mac tutorials in, in other forms as well. Uh, just so we get a good side of, uh, of both. But yeah, let's get to it then. So this is, I think it's going to hopefully remember my... Uh, my preferences for uh, the the games of like playing in 2D. It will jump to 3D soon. 
There's your chance to impress me. Obviously, no reaction. No real surprise there. Well, let's get to it anyway, yeah. Uh, hopefully, you should remember the fact that I like to play in 2D because I've already done that before. Here we go. So, yeah. Um, so, early thoughts then. Just some really quick early thoughts. Uh, enjoying the, the... I do like this interesting... Uh, oh, 1-0. I do like this interesting uh, sort of ball physics. There we go, 3D. Jumping into this. So, it was, so it was a Saeed. He sort of teen up to Sterling. He passed it on and Pacheco there. Who I'm really starting to hope now can come on and be this new... Uh, so he's got the first goal of the new uh, of FM13. That was a bit understated, wasn't it? Um, yeah, uh, so I'm hoping Pacheco will come on will come goals. And, oh, it's 2-0. I get... To, well, this is a start and a half. This, isn't it? So Pacheco's corner. I don't even know. He could take corners. Uh, Aga's header. And Galachi, well, he couldn't do much about that. And that's one thing I've noticed in straight away, bringing it to the point of the ball physics and all that. Um... The goal, like the goalkeepers, sort of parry it, but don't parry it enough that they save it. It still goes in, which is interesting. So, uh, you know, it's just like new ball physics. I'm really like that. It does seem Martin Skelly is exhausted after 24 minutes. Okay, he's going to play one half. Um, but as I say, the ball physics are uh, really nice, and we're really enjoying that. I think uh, a few people have been critical of the match engine, saying it doesn't feel right. But I think that's just taken. You know, a bit of time to adapt to the new things. Obviously, people hate change. It's just as simple as that. But, you know, it's either you can stick in the past with FM12 uh, and FM11 with their slightly flawed match engine, or you can go with this and adapt to uh, something different. Uh, passing is accurate all around pitch. These are quite... I like these useful things from your assistants. These are quite good. So we do here. Steven Gerrard, maybe. I wonder if he might get one. But overall, very uneventful. Well, uneventful. It's 2-0, but I think that was kind of expected. Overall, not the best game uh, in the world, but it is a save, the first game. And it's a save with three. Wow. I really do. I've also been pretty impressed with the Samar Saidi. Uh, I haven't seen that much of him, but what I have seen, he has looked quite good. And I thought he was offside here for a second, but nope, that's a good finish. Goalkeeper probably should do a little bit better. But yeah, this is uh, just giving you say, a little quick look at the players and the type of uh, way, the, the type of you know, sort of roles I want to give them and... And all this type of thing. Obviously, I'm going to make some changes now. Uh, let's see. So we're going to take... Oh, it's a tick scale. off. He's exhausted, apparently. <laughs> exhausted, my ass. Uh, we'll bring Quartes on. So we're going to tear, bring Joe Cole on, I think, for a Sadie. And no, actually, I'll leave Pacheco on. He actually does need to prove to me that uh, he can't play. Actually, I haven't got any strikers. The strikers are going to stay on. That's the problem. I should have maybe brought Alan, uh, Adam Morgan in. Uh, for uh, for that, but there you go. Anyway, let's play Shelby. Uh, uh, sorry, Shelby. Yeah, sorry. Yep, Shelby and Sahin. And we'll take Sterling off for uh, Jordan Henderson. As I say, this I'm just trying everyone here. There's, I'm not you know favouring anyone or anything like that. Apologise if you can't hear the fireworks as well going on. It is uh, nearly bonfire night. <laughs> I am being treated currently to a parade of colours outside my window. That's fantastic. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just uh, getting the. Uh, and some uh, voice in before the uh, the game starts. Here we go then. So uh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make a few more subs. Obviously over the course of the second half, I'm not gonna leave everyone on. Maybe with the exception of uh, why is Rain wound up? And Pacheco's anxious. It's no one's in the ground apparently. If we looked at the 3D bit before, the ground was absolutely empty. That is strange. Known as how Carlos Teixeira, who doesn't really have that great a, a rating on this, but I'm hoping that he can still come good. Here's Samid Yezel. That was a great goal. Samid Yezel there, who I have really high hopes for uh, on this and in real life. He's only young, but uh, that's a really cool finish. And that's a great ball by how Carlos. I want to do want to refer to him as Teixeira, but uh, the game doesn't uh, really stick that name on him, so I'm going to leave that for now. I don't get anxious. What's all this anxious thing? Is it... I mean, hang on, they're not even, they're on the bench. Everyone else, they're, uh, they're, they've been subbed. Why is it still coming up with that? Never mind. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice play in there, Joe Cole there. One of the absolute waste of space, if I'm going to be honest. If in, in, at least in real life, uh, thinking this, I'm going to try and utilise him a bit more. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's, uh, the quicker we get rid of him, the better, quite frankly. And in real life, I'm getting fairly sick of him. He was absolutely woeful the other day. Um, I think it might have been against Swan. I think it was against Swansea. Uh, it might have been against Stoke, though. Can't remember. But yeah, very unimpressed with Joe Cole throughout his uh, entire time at Liverpool. Okay, he had a good 
period at Lille, but uh, let's be honest here, that wasn't particularly uh, difficult for him considering he is actually quite good, and that's you know on his day at least, and that's 4 0 for us. And uh, Fabio Barini with a good finish there, nice finish goalkeeper again, probably should do better there. That is uh, young goalkeeper Stevens there. And now Barini looks uninterested, he's got his goal, but he's uninterested. Oh, Adam, oh, Adam Morgan is playing for the reserves, never mind then. Okay, let's make some more changes. Uh, let's bring Hadigan on for uh, Aga. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm going to bring Danny Wilson on. Oh, I've only got choice to at Downing. Take Fabio Brino off. I know Downing obviously doesn't play there. In fact, I could do some tactical changes. If it lets me. Let's have a look at this then. Uh, more tactics to formation. Let's do a 4 5 1 just for now, just because it's easier. That's I like that. That's a bit. That's a bit nicer. Don't have to, you know, oh, it doesn't even. It doesn't. It doesn't actually matter at all. There's one minute left. That went really quickly. That's nice. I do like the uh, streamlined features though. That is pretty useful. Danny Wilson now, of course, seemingly overrated every time by the uh, the game. I don't know why, but he, as I've mentioned the previous on the tactics video, that he uh, does appear to be severely rated. I mean, really highly rated by. FM, and yet in uh, real life he hasn't really impressed me all that much. Then again, he hasn't really played for us that much as much has he really? Let's be honest. Um, anyway, that's uh, that's the game here, four one. So let's just start uh, making. So uh, I'm very pleased. To... Yeah, I'll say I'm very pleased with the your performance. So everyone's happy. That's good. That's not too often when you just start out, but uh, everyone's looking all interested. <laughs> There's a difference. He's oh, Sadie's angry. Why would you be angry after a fucking reserve game? <laughs> what the? Why is he angry? I don't get it. I, I, yeah, why? I don't know about you, but have you ever been wound up after like a friendly? You know, you play for like, Sunday league football. You know, you might play a few friendlies. You ever been that wound up and really angry? Oh dear. Anyway, yes, yeah, so that was pretty good overall. Man of the match, Danny Pacheco. Um, Daniel Iko with the goals, as well as the Sadie and Barini. Very good. And Yezil also scoring. The Deva Stadium, or Diva Stadium, I don't actually know where that is. It's not in Liverpool, I don't think. Whatever. Um, yeah, so this is just a really quick uh, episode then for you guys. I'm just going to uh, give you a bit of a taste of what's to come there. I'm just going to outline a few players. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the uh, recording. I'm going to play it properly for a bit. And uh, get used to obviously the new interface, which I'm still, just still getting used to. And I will uh, catch up with you then late, uh, later on in about a month's time. That's in the game, obviously, uh, as we take on our first game, which I believe, if we go to the fixtures, is against Swansea at the Liberty Stadium. Now, that's bizarre because that could have been Brendan Rodgers' first game. I have to go back to the Liberty Stadium. We have to arrange a few more friendlies. And... Uh, Obviously, we're only playing Oldham at the moment, but don't forget, of course, we also have the uh, Europa League games, which uh, are probably going to get in the way or something. So, yeah, uh, these, these are the fixtures real quick. We have a last... Oh, look at that. Man United at home is second to last. <laughs> last home game of the season, second to last overall. That's not good. Stoke, or at least you don't have to worry about going to the uh, Britannia since uh, it should be a probably null and void game, no doubt, because we're not going to fight for the title, are we? Anyway, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, give the video a like. And I will see you then for episode 2 when everything really does start. We'll be taking on Swansea in the Premier League. I'll show you my new transfers, what I've done, and we'll get ready for that. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.